here with Fashion News at Who What Wear, and I am here to talk to you about all things fashion basics for spring. So I'm going to wait a few minutes to let people join in. Welcome, come on in. And I will be checking the comments, so I'd love for you to comment and tell me what you think about the products that I chose. I have a ton of goodies to show you. They're all lined up here. The anticipation is killing me. Um, I'm really curious to see what you'll love. Um, I picked out some really special things, a variety of price points, um, brands, and everything. So I hope you will enjoy. I'm talking about all things wardrobe staples for spring. So I'm gonna wait a little bit to let some people come on and join in. Come on in, the water's fine. <laughs> um, this whole live stream will be shoppable, uh, which is what we do at Who What Wear. We do shoppable content, as you know. And um, yes, if you're new to live streaming, welcome. I, in fact, am new to live streaming. This is my first live stream. So I hope you guys will be nice in the comments. I know you will. <laughs> um, all right. So if you're new, all of the products will be on the right side. And then as I talk about specific items, they'll be pinned on the left side of your screen. <laughs> so yes, again, I'm Erin Fitzpatrick. I am the Associate Director of Fashion News at Who What Wear. I've been working here for about seven years and I'm just waiting for some more people to come in. So we are just hanging out. In the meantime, in the comments, tell me about where you are tuning in from. I am here from Los Angeles, not so sunny. Um, it's raining today, or at least it was all this morning. Um, but one of my items that I'm going to show you is a super cute pair of rain boots with a twist. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to see, wait for some people to come in. Michaela's coming from LA. Hello. Yeah, it's been really rainy here. <laughs> All right. And again, I'm going to be talking about wardrobe staples for spring. So come on in, the whole video will be shoppable, and maybe it's time to get started, huh? All right, starting off very strong, um, as you may know, the ballet core trend is super popular right now. These are lovely satin. Um, they're by a brand called Port and Pear, and they're on net a -Porte. Aren't they so pretty? Okay, the ballet core trend is everywhere right now. Um, I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. Um, but it's one of those runway trends that actually is really easily translatable to everyday outfits. As you can see, these are just so perfect, perfect for every day. And I want you to see the little bows. So cute. Okay, also, you know, not everyone can afford the Miu Miu ballet plaids, um, myself included. And so these are such a fun alternative, less expensive than Miu Miu. And there's other brands that have been doing that on the ballet core trend on the runway as well. Molly Goddard, Simone Rocha, um, Erdem, there's so many. Um, but I would like to say that also, even though ballet core trend is super trendy right now, it's also very classic. Like when we're not talking about ballet core, these will still be in style, I promise. So pretty. I want you to see a little close up look. Okay, also, did you see at the Oscars when The Rock wore a pink satin jacket on the red carpet? And he, in an interview, he was like, oh yes, I'm wearing the ballet pink trend. 
and I just love it <laughs> because his stylist obviously coached him to be like, okay, we're going for the ballet look tonight for the Oscars. I was kind of obsessed with that. His jacket was not unlike this beautiful light pink. All right, so my next item behind door number two is this beautiful mango bag. I'm gonna put it on. Okay, this makes me think, you know that TikTok account where the guy like cuts up leather bags to like inspect the quality of the leather? Um, spoiler alert, I'm not gonna do that for this bag because I like it too much, I don't wanna ruin it. But this is a mango bag, it's $70. Um, Give you a little spin, give you a little outfit check. All right, and I'm really not a mini bag person. I tend to be a schlepper and stuff a bunch of stuff in here. So that's why crossbodies are my ideal bag, whether I'm, you know, running errands on the weekends or you know, going to a meeting, going to the office. I mean, what doesn't a crossbody bag? do. <laughs> um, oh, and I also put this to the test here. I'll give you a little close-up look. I put this to the test and I could fit a ton of stuff in it. I fit my eyeglasses case, my keys, my wallet. Um, what else? Pepper spray, of course. <laughs> Uh, my doggy poop bags, the clean ones, okay? And I would show you my dog, but I had to put him in daycare so that he wouldn't bark while mom is doing a live stream for work. Um, <laughs> and what else can I fit in here? Um, sunglasses, like I fit a ton of stuff in here, truly. It's really a great everyday size. So this is from Mango, and I wouldn't have flinched if you told me that this was triple the price, um, cause it's $70, but it looks way more than that. All right. Next. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Show me in the comments. Tell me in the comments, where are my tall girls at? Because I am 5'10 and I am always on the hunt for what I call fancy flats. I'll give you a nice little up close look here. These are from Reformation. And I know you love Reformation's dresses already, everyone does, um, but don't overlook their shoe selection. They have some really great shoes right now. So go check them out. And I don't know if you can tell, these are actually gold and silver. Um, so I love that mixed metal look. Um, so you, there are no rules. You don't have to do all gold or all silver. These shoes prove that you can mix both. All right. And I will be checking some comments right now. Hope you guys are being nice to me. What is the ref shoe sizing like? Um, I found them exactly true to size. I have been a nine and a half, and I think they are exactly nine and a half fit perfectly. Whoop. Yes, got some love for the bag, the shoes. Thank you for commenting. Okay, how would you style these? For summer, for sure. A white dress um, you really can't go wrong and then because they're both silver and gold you can do either accessory you know a little gold metallic bag um, or mix it with some silver jewelry you, you know the possibilities are endless all right so I'm gonna bring in my next item this very cute walk hole bra. It's called the Back Appeal T-shirt bra. Okay, first impressions is it's extremely soft, like buttery soft, and it's just feels like you've been wearing it for years. Um, another thing that I love about this one is that it has a front closure. Give you a look up here. 
And I just love front closures because they're so much easier to take on and off. Um, I just love it. And let's take a look at the back, this nice racer back. And you can see these nice thick side straps here. Um, they are specifically designed to be smoothing across your back and your sides. So you won't get that bulging um, that I know you have with some other bras. So what else to say? This bra comes up to size, uh, cup size G, and it also comes in black. So I might have to get black as well. All right, let me grab my next one right here. This, speaking of Wacol, this is also by Wacol. Um, and I know you already love their bras. Their bras are like super well-reviewed, but don't overlook their other basics like the perfect little tank top. It's buttery soft, just like the um, bra is. And what's, what's not to love? I love the little um, square neckline, and it's just such an everyday perfect tank top. So let me grab my next item. All right, I'll check the comments. Yes, thank you. Love it, got some love for the bra. Yeah, the front closure makes it so much easier to take on and off. All right, let me grab my next item. Ooh. All right, spring and summer is coming even though it is still raining here in LA. <laughs> All right, so this is by Rode. This is their signature dress. It's called the Ella dress and they have it. I literally went and counted on their website. They have 15 different versions of this dress right now with different prints and colors. Do, do, do. And it comes with this tie, but you can also wear it out. And I'll show you the super flouncy. Da, da, da. I mean, everyone loves a floral dress for spring, right? <laughs> All right. Da, da, da. This is their Ella dress, the road Ella dress. And like I said, it comes in a ton of different prints. This brand, it's called Rode. They are so good at prints and they have something for everyone, I think. All right. And I just love the super flouncy skirt. <laughs> Give you a little Marilyn Monroe moment. And I know this live stream is all about spring basics and this is a little bit more fun, a little funky, but Really, the silhouette is extremely classic. So I love that combination of a fun print with a very classic shape and silhouette. And I'm going to Mallorca this summer. I'm very excited. This is coming with me. I'll give you a little close-up look at the print because this brand really does prints so well like it's like a little work of art i think all right next item i'm gonna check some comments hello all right i'm gonna check some comments hi jackie hi becca the length of the dress it's pretty short um and so they recommend sizing up if you are taller like i am um because that'll give you a little bit more length so it's pretty short and um, let me grab it again. For reference, I am 5'10". <laughs> so you can see kind of where it hits. Da, da, da. So I'm pretty tall, so on um, on some more pitchy gals, it'll be, um, it'll look a little longer. Hello, Lee. Hello, Svetlana. <laughs> All right, let me move on to my next item. Okay, so that dress was all about, you know, summer vacation, um, spring break, like Instagram ready, very photogenic. And this is a little bit the opposite. It's my chill go-to look for working from home, running errands on the weekends. Um, it's just a super chill basic sweatshirt with a twist. Um, 
this graphic I'll show you up close. Da, da, da. Um, this sweatshirt is by Anina Bing, and this graphic is of Brigitte Bardot. So it's a little French spin. Um, yeah, I wear this all the time, working from home, running errands. It's just so cozy, but it's also chic, and it's just plain uh, gray on the back. Da, da, da. We love a crew neck. Yes, me too. You can also, with a crew neck, I think it's super cute to wear like a button down collared shirt underneath and let the collar pop out if you want to like dress it up a little. But honestly, I usually wear this pretty simple with jeans or whatever. All right. Okay, let me grab my next item and I will check the comments a little. It's a vibe. My fave. Yeah, um, that our fashion editors at Hua Wear love Anina Bing. All right, next item. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. This is a really fun one for me um, because I posted this on Instagram stories and I got a huge response. Why? Because the Hunter boots are now customizable. It might be inverted for you, but they say Aaron Fitz. That's my name. <laughs> um, you can see the top here where there usually says Hunter. It, they are customizable. You guys, I got so many comments on these. Truly, I'm not making this up. Uh, when I posted them on Instagram stories, people were obsessed with the fact that you can customize them. Perfect for weather in LA today. Da da da, give you a look. They're super classic. Okay, and with the customizing, um, you can do up to eight letters on each boot. And no offensive words, don't get any ideas, you guys. No offensive words, but they are customizable. <laughs> You can see I put Aaron Fitz. My name is Aaron Fitzpatrick. <laughs> um, customizable. Okay, fun fact about Hunter boots. They actually have a royal warrant, which is given to brands that supply goods or services to the royal family, the British royal family, but not for free. They still pay for them, but it's basically like a stamp of approval um, for the brands the royal family uses. And Hunter has a royal warrant. Fun fact. So lots of royals own these, as you would imagine being in England, uh, needing some rain boots. They also remind me very much of Glastonbury and like Kate Moss and Sienna Miller. Hunter boots, if you're just tuning in, Hunter boots are customizable. I'm obsessed. All right, let me grab my next item, okay? Grabbing my other item. Oh, I don't need to grab my next item because I'm wearing it. All right, this is a Seiko watch. I'm gonna step up here. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. This is a Seiko watch. So I recently traveled to Switzerland and I became kind of obsessed with all things watches. Obviously, Swiss made watches are kind of elite. Um, however, Seiko, let me show you. Close up look, kind of matches my belt. My belt is from Zara. Da, da, da. Okay, so Seiko is a Japanese brand and they were, they've been around since the 1880s. Okay. So they have all of the history that you, you know, your Rolexes and your Cartiers have, but they're so much more attainable price point. So here's my little Seiko watch. It's Japanese made. 
so cute. And okay, I will be honest with you guys because I always wanna be honest. It was a little small for me, and so I ended up poking a an extra hole in the leather. Um, and so this watch is beautiful, but it is for a little bit more uh, petite wrists, okay? So totally cute, but that just proves how much I loved it, that I was not willing to return it. I wanted to instead make it work for my wrists, and so I poked poked in a little extra hole here. Um, yes, it does look great with my belt. Little matching moment. And what I love about this watch is that it's such a perfect starter watch. If you're like me and you don't really know a ton about watches, Seiko, trust me on this, go to Seiko. All right, let me grab my next item. All right, dun, dun, dun. let me give you a close-up look here. Dun, dun, dun. This is another bag by Mango. Do not sleep on Mango's bags right now. Dun, dun, dun. And let me give you a comparison with the bag I showed you earlier. It was a little bit bigger. This one is a bit smaller, just a little. Here's the size comparison. Um, what I love about this is the leather trim. And you know how sometimes um, with leather bags, like if you scratch it, the scratches are really evident, but this has some canvas material. So I really don't think your scratches would show up. So I love that. Um, Da, da, da. I'm just such a crossbody bag person. You little. And again, if you're just tuning in, I am 510 for reference. Such a great everyday bag. All right. Let me take a moment and check the comments. It's a super wearable bag, Taylor. Okay, somebody made an account called Fitz Fan. That's so funny. <laughs> uh. Oh, my earrings. Where are my earrings from? Um, they are by Jenny Walton, you know, the influencer. She actually has a brand um, that is sort of a more a one-off piece. Um, I don't think she sells them anymore, sorry. Uh, but they're by Jenny Walton. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let me grab my next item. All right. Ba, ba, ba. These are by Mango as well. Lots of good Mango stuff. They're one of my favorite brands. Um, so these are basically, let me give you, whoop. Let me give you a little close-up look here. They're so cute. All right. So again, if you weren't here earlier, I am 510. I don't know why I say it so many times, but I think it's relevant when um, I'm really good at finding fun flats. Uh, I feel like cute heels are so easy to come by but cute flats are a bit harder. And these are by Mango. Doo, doo, doo. They're basically just like a little flip-flop with an ankle strap. So they're perfect for every day, super casual, but the gold makes them a little, feel a little bit more fancy, I think. All right, yes, Mango. A lot of love for Mango, I know. It's really popular with our readers. All right, let me grab my next item right here. All right, guys. Do not sleep on Old Navy jeans. All right. These are from Old Navy, guys. Don't overlook them. I believe they're $45, and I love them. Here's the back. They're high-waisted, and they are full length. So let me stand back a little. They're full length. 
Do, do, do. Yes, don't overlook old navy jeans, okay? Um, they also come in tall sizing, regular sizing, and petite sizing. So all the girls should be trying old navy jeans. Nice and high-waisted. And they are super, um, for the tall girls, you can get them um, the length longer. And for the petite gals, you can get them shorter, of course. Love them all around. All right. Check the comments. They come in other colors. Yes, I also have them, these same jeans, in a lighter wash. That's I love lighter washes for spring and summer. Yeah. All right. Checking some comments. You guys are being nice for my first live stream. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think everything here is, you know, stick to the theme of wardrobe basics. So what else do we have for you? Let me go check. Okay. Last couple of pieces. Thanks for watching everybody. Okay. This is from Everlane. And obviously at first glance, it looks kind of like a, something you'd wear to work. Do, do, do. I love it. Here's the back. Um, but actually last summer I went to Hawaii and I wore this unbuttoned with a swimsuit underneath and then like breezy linen pants. So that's how I'm going to style it again this summer. Do, do, do. And it's by Everlane. But of course you could also wear it to the office too because it's super functional. But like I said, last summer I wore it unbuttoned with a swimsuit, which I loved and I'll be replicating again this year. All right. Okay, guys, I'm sad to say this is my last item. <laughs> okay, this is a Staud dress. We love Staud here at Who What Wear. Let me stand back. So again, I'm 5'10". Here's where it lands on me. You know, definitely a midi length. Do, do, do. It is cotton and linen. Nice square neckline. I love the skirt. That it's super like fun and swingy. Do, do, do. This I've actually had um, for maybe two years now, um, but luckily it's still available for you guys to shop. So that's why I'm including it because it's still shoppable online. <laughs> yes, Taylor, best for last. <laughs> I think so too. I love this dress. Spring is not complete without a beautiful white dress. I think they look great with my white earrings. Maybe like a full head to toe white outfit would be cute. Um, with like white strappy sandals, white earrings, a white bag, you know, a little monochrome moment. Da, da, da. And here's the back. It's a little um, like scoop neck back. So that is all I have for you guys. I'm so excited to have done my first live stream. Thank you for tuning in. And I want to tell you guys that the live stream will still be watchable afterwards um, on whoaware.com, of course, and everything will be shoppable there as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll check one more for the comments. Dream dress, I know. We love Stodd here at Whoaware. All right, thank you so much. And this live stream will be available to watch afterwards. Thanks for tuning in, guys.